All right, hello everyone. It's Team Rocket Dross here with another card opening. And as you guys see, guys, we're gonna open a Yu-Gi-Oh Power Cube. And I know it's not Pokemon, guys, for the same reason that I do like Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I've been playing Duel Links for a while now, and I found this online on Amazon. And I just thought it was a good idea to actually open some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I'm not really going to do many openings of this, guys. This is just me. Like, I like Yu-Gi-Oh, so I want to have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards with me. Um, as a kid, I used to buy a bunch of them. And um, basically now they're all used because I used to play with them with my cousins. Uh, back when I was way younger, like in my middle school days, which was a while ago. So um, I've been playing, like I said, Duel Links, which is a really cool uh, app, guys. If you guys have a, a phone, make sure to download download it because it's actually pretty fun. So uh, make sure to go check it out. So let me just show you guys what this is all about, basically. And uh, yeah, so it's a Power Cube, which is from a third party. This is not from actual Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit interesting. They do have, um, you guys can see there's a card right there covering the the stuff in the inside but let's actually get a, a closer look on what it actually has so if you guys can notice it says in every uh, queue it includes five rare cards five battle packs one figure hanger and 75 common cards so there's quite a lot of cards in here guys um and to be honest i don't know what to expect i don't know much about the packs i don't really know what rares are and stuff like that i have a an idea and i have this right here to open it and like I said, I ended up getting this on Amazon um, and they don't have the greatest feedback, I guess you would say, because it's from a third party. So, you know what I mean? There's a chance that cards are going to be scratched. They're going to be um, not what people expect. You know what I mean? So I really like this one for the actual case. So they have a card at the top and one at the bottom. That way you can't see what kind of packs, I guess, there's in the inside. So, um, yeah, so that's a keychain. So this is a summon skull right there. So let's actually open it up. So I really like the case, guys. The case, I could use it to display stuff. Um, so the first thing that we're going to see. Oh, we ended up getting an Exodia. Oh, all right. That wasn't a smart idea. So the only thing that flew was this. A keychain. I would have preferred probably a different one. Exodia is really cool though, but I don't know. Like a summon school, it's a little bit cool on the cool side. But we got the the main character, I guess that you would say from the Yu-Gi-Oh series, the Almighty Forbidden One, Exodia. So that's really cool. Um, and then we have the packs right here on the side. So two, four. There is five packs. So one of the things I don't know if it was from this one or the one that I have in the back. I think it was from this one that people were saying that there was uh, stuff missing, um, like packs missing. So let me just put these here on the side. Get the ones at the top. And I don't know what the actual like hollow means in the actual card. Uh, ma I imagine that's like a rare card. The rare. Like I said, I don't really follow Yu-Gi-Oh, but that's a really cool one right here. And then it has one on this side. So I want to take good care of them, guys. Like I don't have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like I said. Uh, oh, this one's cool, actually. My favorite type are warrior types, guys. So that's why I like that one. So it seems like that's one of the rare ones that they say that you end up getting. Uh, so I imagine that's what it's about. So. Let me get these back up here. So I guess we could start with these and then we'll go ahead and open the packs. Um, so let me see, make sure that you guys are able to see them properly. So Jane Light Sportsman Paladin. And you guys could just pause the video. That way you guys could actually read the, the actual um, effects and stuff like that description. So this one's actually really cool. So that's two, we got uh, a iron i've never seen this one there's a lot that i haven't seen guys even playing the game there's still a lot so that's three vampire koala i've never seen this one four and then yeah five uh with the mist valley falcon so i think i have to move it around that way you guys can see it a little bit better but i think those are are five rares and then the rest are just gonna be common cards i guess a so black metal dragon that's actually a cool dragon then we got baby dragon axe raider that's pretty cool the golden um apples cyber dark keel so there's a lot of these oh i remember this card 
And it seems like, yeah, they are real cards. Monster reincarnation. What? That's like a weird monster reborn. Discard one card, then target one monster in your GY. What's that? Add it to your hand. GY. I don't know what that is, guys. These are first edition, though, so that's pretty cool. Cyber Dark Edge. All Legendary Ocean. Cyber Dark Horn. So we got a few of these. Express Roid. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Wow, that's cool. It's a non hollow. How is that not a rare? I expected that to be like a rare. Amazonas Village, Armoroid, Inferno Fire Blast. I, oh, I got this one. This one's actually really cool. Wonder Balloon, Oxygeton. I know that one from the show, Yu Yo GX. Leotor, I know that one, the Legendary Fishman. I used to have a, a warrior, I mean, not a warrior, but a ocean deck, and I used to use him. Vice Typhoon. Uh, Gravity Lash, World Legacy Clash, X Crawler, Neurogos. This is a weird one. It's a link too. Like I said, guys, I don't know a lot of these cards, uh, especially like all the the new ones, like the uh, Synchro Summoning and stuff like that. World Legacy and Shadow, Submania, FA Circuit Grand Prix. So I'm, I'm thinking instead of just reading through all of them, I'm just gonna go slowly through them. Just mention a couple. See, like this one. This one's a little bit on the weird side. Never seen this one before. And it seems like a lot of these are first edition, guys, which I know that's one of the good things, right? So let me just put them aside over here. So there's a lot of cool ones. I don't know how you would tell other than the name being shiny that they're rarer or the card actually being hollow, to be honest. Oh, that's a cool one. See, like these these look a little odd to me i never seen those before but like i said i don't really know much i didn't even know this one was like that it's a link to pokemon so if you guys know what these are let me know in the comment section i know there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there okay and i'm sorry that you guys could hear my ac in the back guys it's like 90 degrees right now so i almost have to uh have my AC on so I apologize for that so actually put this over here and actually let's put this right there that way you guys can kind of get a good look at it so let's look at the packs guys like I said I don't know what kind of packs they have and it seems like they're stuck together with some sort of glue man that's sticky so we got a monsters league um, we got a battle pack 3 I don't really want to wreck the cards or bend them guys um we have a battle pack 3 monster league first edition so i think it's this one the one that they were saying that they weren't first edition like you mentioned um in the packs so they were saying they weren't too happy about that so like i said as long as they're real cards guys then i'm all good for it so let me know in the comment section Like I said, so I don't know the card trick. I don't know if there's a card trick or anything. So let's just go ahead and look at them. So mask of weakness. Oh, a psychic overload. Uh, target three psychic type Pokemons in your graveyard. Shuffle all three into your deck and draw two cards. Wow, that's a really good card right there. They are first edition though. Wow, that's really cool. That's a cool card right there, guys. Let me put it over here. And then I guess this is our rare, our Aztec Pete, the Warm Warrior. It's an insect type, sorry if I'm not in the middle. That's cool. And then we got Herald of Pure Light and a Vylon Um. I recognize that card. So let me just put these right here. Let's go for our next one, which is, I guess it's the same packs, but just different um, uh, cover artwork. So it seems like there's five cards per pack. So we have a one shot one. Not familiar with it. And we got a Jurok Pro Top. So I wonder if we're gonna get one of these in each one. And this is a first edition. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and then we got another vampire koala. That's cool. That's so rare. And then we got an alien brain and a Frera Spirit of Victory. Okay, so we got two more packs to go, guys. I guess I'll leave the other one to the end. Oh, there's more. I forgot. 
Oh, there's an extra one here. Oh man, guys, these are really stuck together. Whoa, that's some really sticky whatever that is. Seems like some sort of glue. Might be hot glue, to be honest. All right, so let's go with these. So we got Forbidden Dress. I actually have this in Dual Links. I don't use it, but Heroic Champion Kunasagi Warrior XY Effect. So let me know, guys, if these are real cards. Like, I've never seen these type of cards, so I have no clue. And then we got Blizzard Dragon. That's actually a cool one right there. And uh, yes, they are first edition, so they're actually keeping true to the actual packs. Like I said, somebody had a problem with some of these that they weren't um, first edition. So I'm sorry if I'm not centered in the camera. Um, I'm not looking at the phone in order to see them. I'm actually looking at the top. Oh, man, they're stuck to my fingers. All right, so, ooh, a shadow spell. I know this card for sure shadow spell and then we got a mirror wall i know this card as well and then we got a skelosaurus rare that's a cool card right there i'm a big zombie type fan alien brain and then uh, gonna gonna go at the end of the damage step if this card battled an opponent monster change that monster to face down defense position hmm it's a good defense though so that's not bad and now for the last pack guys so like i said i still have this in the back to open guys it's a Yu-Gi-Oh monster box so it has nine booster packs and i guess one legacy pack i think a legacy pack is a good thing like i said i don't really know much about this so i apologize but um yeah so we're gonna start with the fusion sword musurami blade i know that card from the game we got a memory loss when a face-up attack position monster your opponent controls just activated an effect except during the damage step and get the effect and if you do change that monster to face up defense position okay that's cool that's a cool card right there Ooh, this one guys i'm all, i'm actually trying to get a deck using this card and i and i haven't got this guy yet i'm still trying to get him so that's really cool that I actually got them. So it's a spellcaster deck, by the way, guys. So I'm working on getting this guy right now, to be honest. That, that's pretty funny, though, that that's the card that came out right there. And then uh, Omnimus Taurus. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, guys. So let me just give a overall look at our rares, I guess. And overall, I actually really like this tin, guys. As long as it's real. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. But look at this. A Miss Valley Falcon. Uh, we got a couple of Vampire Koalas. Uh, a Iron. A Crossword Beetle. I actually now remember this card. I think I've seen this one before. Let me put it up here. We got a Jane Light Swords Paladin. I wonder if it has anything to do. Let me see. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 300 attack during the damage step only. During each of your end phases, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Hmm, you gotta have this card for a, a specific deck in order to use it. Because why would you want to increase the attack of your opponent, right? And also send your cards to the graveyard unless you're gonna get an effect from it. So, this is really cool. So, I'm, I think that's my favorite card right now so far, guys. Um, this one's actually really cool. Mirror Wall. I've actually, this, I think this is one of the original cards. And then Blizzard Dragon. So, I do have some of the original cards, guys, but they're in really bad condition. I got a, a Blue Eyes a White Dragon. Um, and I also have a Dark Magician. And um, just a few other cards that are actually hollow from back in the day that I ended up buying some of the actual uh, decks back. It was a long time ago, uh, long, long time ago, guys. It was back in like 2004, 2005 when I ended up buying them. But overall, guys, I, I enjoyed it. To be honest, it's a whole lot of cards for for this, and I think this ended up being like around maybe twenty dollars or more. To be honest, I can't remember. So actually, if I want to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards, then this is probably something good that I'd go and 
buy again especially because it comes with a container because yeah we got a bunch of cards look at this guys and they're all they're all in good condition too because the video that i saw the some guy gave a review they weren't first edition even though the pack said they were first edition and uh, these seem to be first edition and then the cards inside they seem to be in good condition as well so as you guys can see they're all uh white on the edges just like the ones that i opened um and the ones that he had he had some some like older ones that looked a little bit on the more worn side so overall i i think i like this so i'll probably leave a good review you know i ended up getting a, a a good amount of cards and for not a lot of money to be honest i mean it is a lot of money but you guys know what i mean like i enjoyed it i thought i was gonna get way less for this um so this is a bunch of cards so i ended up also buying a bunch of loose cards i think like 100 loose cards it's just like a random assortment like i said i'm just doing this just to have Yu-Gi-Oh cards i'm not doing this to collect any sets or build any decks or anything like that i don't know anybody that actually plays Yu-Gi-Oh in person with actual cards i actually have a friend that contacted me um and uh, let me know that he was playing duel links and uh, that i should do uh go ahead and uh get it again that way we can start playing so that's pablo right there and then um yeah so this, this is the pack the box that i'll be opening next guys so it's really cool it's a monster box it has nine booster packs like i mentioned before like i don't really know about some of the packs that it contains um but i'm just going just for the collection i just like Yu Yu cards in general i think they're really cool so yeah guys so it's really cool and uh yeah i'll be opening this in maybe like a couple weeks and I got more Pokemon cards in the way, so stay tuned for that. So I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one. Team Rocket Draws, out.